Hello everyone, my name is Jasmine McCoy and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for clicking in to drop by. Now, in case you missed it last time, I made a video about the way that I'm getting myself ready for the neurology exam. And last video, I took the practice exam. Here's a little snippet in case you missed it. But okay, let's press this button. And three, two, one. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, she Whoa! I killed it! <laughs> she's good. She's done. Guys, I she killed it! Yo! Now, I have here with me my Panera Brownie. When I got this earlier in the day, I did not know if this would be a celebration brownie or a sadness brownie. It's a celebration brownie! <sighs> I'm feeling great. So, my score, I got an 80 on the practice exam three days before the real exam. I'm feeling good, but I cannot get complacent. I cannot get complacent because if I get complacent, that is a surefire way to really disappoint myself and that's not what I want to do. So the next thing that we have to do, there's still work to be done. So you're still going to get a nice little productive study vlog because there are gaps that need to be closed and we are going to work on closing them. So a part of the first thing that I have to do to close those gaps is I'm going to go through the questions that I missed and I'm going to go back specifically and ask myself, hmm, what lecture is that from? Oh yes, it's that lecture. Let's go over it. So I'm gonna enjoy my celebration brownie and then I'm going to get to work on closing those gaps. That way, I can enjoy Portugal. <laughs> to head home time to get some sleep but I was able to go through all of the questions that I missed I was able to look at them locate oh yeah that's an epilepsy question or oh yeah that is a multiple sclerosis a uh I don't know yeah so things like that where I was able to see what it is that I'm struggling with and then yeah okay so now i have everything that i need to go through to go and close those gaps and what else is there yeah we're just gonna close the gaps Ooh, ooh. actually though i did go over a so lot of the um a lot of the things that i guessed correctly on so it's like oh yeah i guessed right but I don't just want to guess, I want to actually know. So I'll have to go over those as well. But yeah, things are great. I'll see you all tomorrow for another, um, we're gonna be having another practice session with specifically the science of medicine lectures. So that's gonna to be tomorrow. It's gonna to be another time for me to get in some questions. And that will be the last bit of class that we have for the neuro unit. So yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Today is the final day of neuro classes. So because we have all of our exams on Friday, something that the school does to make sure you have all the time to study in the world is on Thursday, we have no classes. So today is Wednesday. It is the last day that we will be in person. Ooh, sun, sun, yes, skin on point. So this is the last day that we've got time with our neuro professors. Literally, so many of them, they're gonna be 
here for us to have a final review of the science of medicine lectures, which is important. But today I also need to make sure that I take time to do the non-science material. Non-science material as in health and society, business of medicine. These are the kinds of things that you also have to make sure that you devote a good amount of time to because medicine is more than just the sciencey part of it. Like there is a humanistic part of it as well. So yeah, gotta make sure that I hit on all of those points today. And me and my friends later, we are going to be doing a formative exam review where we're gonna go over how it is we got the answers that we got and it'll be a good day. It'll be a good day. Also, guys, I measured my luggage to make sure that it would be uh, an appropriate size for my carry-on because we're flying Tap Air Portugal. Apparently, they are very specific about, you know, sizes. So mine works. Very excited for that. And yeah, so we got an awesome day ahead of us. Okay, so at this point, we're 10 minutes past when we should have started. We're all just waiting for the professors to show up. It's supposed to be four or five of them. None of them are here. So at this point, I'm wondering, was this supposed to just be something asynchronous, like a review slides that we do on our own and they just accidentally put it in as a in-person thing to be at but we'll see it's only been 10 minutes hopefully one of them shows up but at least 40 50 of us are in here just kind of sitting and waiting so we'll see they thought that it started at 10 so that's why there is confusion because we're all here at 9 30 asking where they are and they're like what you mean it starts at nine so now we have some teachers here so we should be starting soon the way the review sessions go they ask a question you answer on your phone and then they will do one or two slides from the lectures explaining why the answer is right then it was time for me to go into Galter Library, do a little bit of self-study. I did some Anki cards, just to make sure I'm staying on top of that. And finally, we get together, we kiki a little bit, that's what we do, and we go over the exam, the practice exam specifically. So we're walking through, we're talking about what it is we did to get to the answers that we got, why the correct answer is the correct answer, why the incorrect answers are incorrect, because that's also important, because the incorrect answers could be answers to questions that they might ask on the exam. So yes, the answer was B, but what is C talking about? Because maybe they'll ask a question where C is the answer. So yeah, that's what we do. Okay, it is now time to head home. I'm not yet done with studying though. That's something that's gonna happen for maybe one more hour until tonight. So the review today went extremely well. I got like an 83, 84% on it, so I'm feeling good. I learned a lot more, solidified things where it's like, okay, not gonna be shaky on this anymore. I know what I know and I'll be able to do that on the exam. Um, we did the little formative review my friends really enjoyed and they thanked having me be able to explain how it is I got the answers that I did when I didn't know they also helped me be able to understand things that I either guessed right or um, got wrong and now um, yeah one thing I want to make sure I do tonight at least a little bit is look at those non-science things because yeah, yeah, that non-science, it'll get you if you're not looking out for it. I can't let that happen, can't let it sneak up on me. So yeah, gonna go home, do a little bit more, get some sleep, and then tomorrow, I am going to have a little bit of a, um, um, have a little bit of a easy morning to do my, um, my packing. Yeah, I got a pack for um, for Portugal. And I don't want to try and do that on Friday. That would just be a lot. So I'm going to pack tomorrow morning, fine tune those last little bits I want to look at, and then it'll be time. 
it'll be time for the real exam on Friday. Yay! Oh, oh we're almost there. And before I knew it, it was Thursday, the day before the exam. As you can see, I am making sure that I am ready for all of the non-science material in the big Google Doc that is probably, I think, 30 pages scrolling through that. Then I am zooming through my Anki cards, making sure that I'm going over everything that I have been having that spaced repetition for, and ending the night off with looking at some specific lectures that I know I can stand to improve on. That way I can close the gaps. At this point, there are 12 hours before the neuro exam, and at this point, I also know that the exam is going to be 114 questions, multiple choice, three write out the answer type of questions, most likely gonna be on ethics, so I get to make my case for why I think X, Y, and Z. Um, feeling pretty good. We've got a whole lot of time. I'm just ready for this exam to be over, if we're being honest. I feel like I have learned a lot. I feel like I have closed 90% of my gaps. Some things I still mess up on, but I know that I'm doing well enough to pass, which is the most important part since I go to a pass-fail medical school. And even then, I still feel like I'm going to do a nice job tomorrow. I'm not gonna like get in air or anything like that, but I know I'm gonna pass. Um, yeah, overall, how did I do this? Looking back, seeing the 60 Science of Medicine lectures and then all of the Oh yes, when I study, I listen to either Skyrim soundtrack music or I listen to Studio Ghibli music. But I have looked through also all of the non-science material. I've done that twice today. So I'm feeling good on that material as well. But looking back, you're like, dang, this was a long unit. And it was, it was a very long unit, but I made it through. I have been able to retain the things that I've learned and I hope that that stays because we're definitely going to need neurology for the step exam. But let's, let's not worry about that. Let's get through the neurology exam first. So it's nine o'clock. I've got maybe another hour and a half that I'm going to stay up. Um, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching. We're gonna see how this goes in the morning when I get myself up, get myself ready to go and take this exam. Exam day, we've got 30 minutes before the exam starts. So I'm heading over now to get myself ready to scope out the place that me and my friends are gonna be sitting to take our exam. Feeling good. Feeling ready to have this exam done and over with. I know that I've done the work. I feel like it's gonna turn out perfectly fine. So yeah, I'll show you all a little bit more about what the pre-exam um, scene is like. Cause it's really just a lot of people sitting with their iPads, their computers open, making sure, okay, let me go over this one last thing. Let me go over this one last thing. It's, it's nice. And then we also get a breakfast provided by Dean Nielsen. So yeah, let's go. I am finally done with the neuro exam, yay! Okay, life is great. The sun is out, the birds are chirping. Nothing can bring me down now because I'm done with the hardest, the longest 
unit of medical school and I just feel amazing. So we're not done yet. <laughs> uh, the stress is still a little bit high because I am not completely packed yet and I'm also not completely done with cleaning my apartment. You know, when you're studying, the cleanliness of the apartment just takes a tank. So I'm gonna try and do that before I leave for Portugal. Yes, so excited for that. And thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate having you all in my corner watching me make this other really big win in my life. Now, of course, I don't know if I've passed yet, but I feel like I passed. When I was going through the exam, I'm like, ooh, yes, I know this one, I got this one. Easy money. There were some that I didn't immediately know that I was able to figure out. There were also some that I was like, I had never heard of this before. I didn't even know we learned about this. But overall, I felt amazing. So, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you extra liked it, consider giving a super thanks. And make sure you're subscribed and turn on notifications. That way you can be notified of the next videos that I make about my awesome fall break trick that I am going to have in Portugal. Thank you again so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.